Hello from Ticker DD. This video is part of the third generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers along with news analysis. This third generation includes an initial model for short interest. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are stated, marketed, or sold in this commentary video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy. Capitalist brothers and sisters. Let's get started. PFS went public on January 16, 2003, which was roughly 21 years and 4 months ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Wednesday, May 29, 2024 to Friday, August 19, 2022. We found 446 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis of this ticker, which has a market capitalization of about $1.9 billion. Based on available licensed data, we think that the company, Provident Financial Services, Inc., that is behind this ticker has 1109 full-time employees. Consider that number to be an estimate and not an exact count. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for PFS after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Hello. My name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here's what I found. Provident Financial Services Inc. operates as the bank holding company for Provident Bank that provides various banking products and services to individuals, families and businesses in the United States. The company's deposit products include savings checking interest bearing checking money market deposit and certificate of deposit accounts as well as IRA products. Its loan portfolio comprises commercial real estate loans that are secured by properties such as multi-family apartment buildings office buildings and retail and industrial properties commercial business loans fixed rate and adjustable rate mortgage loans collateralized by one to four family residential real estate properties commercial construction loans and consumer loans consisting of home equity loans home equity lines of credit marine loans personal loans and unsecured lines of credit and auto and recreational vehicle loans. The company also offers cash management, remote deposit capture, payroll origination, escrow account management and online and mobile banking services and business credit cards. In addition, it provides wealth management services comprising investment management trust and estate administration, financial planning, tax compliance and planning in private banking. Further the company sells insurance and investment products including annuities operates as a real estate investment trust for acquiring mortgage loans and other real estate related assets and manages and sells real estate properties acquired through foreclosure. As of December 31, 2021 it operated 96 full-service branch offices in northern and central New Jersey as well as in Pennsylvania and New York counties. The company was founded in 1839 and is headquartered in Jersey City, New Jersey. What percentage of shares were shorted for PFS for the two-week period, ending on settlement date, May 15, 2024? About 4.5 million shares of PFS were shorted out of a total of approximately 130.2 million outstanding shares. Therefore, for PFS, based on as is, discovered, Public data when this video was generated, the ticker has a short interest of roughly 3.42%, which I got by taking the number of shorted shared and dividing it by the number of outstanding shares to get the percentage value. Days to cover is 3.84. When I compare the current two-week period data snapshot against the previous period, ending in settlement date, April 30, 2024, I find that the current snapshot had roughly 263,000 less shares shorted. This means that, compared to the previous snapshot, the current snapshot has a decrease of minus 5.57% of shorted shares. Zooming out, I looked across 49 two-week snapshots, from latest found, May 15, 2024 to oldest found, May 13, 2022. In the graph, 
I overlaid by weekly percentage change in short interests against days to cover. Across these 49 two-week snapshots, the average percentage change of short interest was about 3.22%. Other interesting data points include. The largest percentage increase in short interest was 39.97%. It occurred once on October 14, 2022 settlement date. The largest percentage decrease in short interest found across those 49 two-week snapshots was minus 11.73%. It occurred once on December 29, 2023 settlement date. The average days to cover was about 7.63. The biggest days to cover was 15.5 and it happened once on August 31, 2023 settlement date. Hello. My name is Sam. What were recent headline news for PFS? Today, Thursday, May 30, 2024, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was the results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 9 unique dates. Publication dates spanned 280 days. The latest publication was, Tuesday, May 28, 2024 when Zach's Investment Research published the headline that read, 5 Reasons to Buy Provident Financial, PFS, Stock Right Now. The oldest publication was on Tuesday, August 22, 2023, when 9 months and 8 days ago, Yahoo Finance published the headline that read, Provident Bank Strengthens Long Island CRE Team with 3 New Hires from Signature Bank. Wednesday, May 22, 2024 had the most headlines, it had two discovered headlines when Defense World published the headline that read, Charles Schwab Investment Management has $16.92 million stock holdings in Provident Financial Services, Inc. Investing.com India published the headline that read, Provident Financial Services CEO buys shares worth over $13,000. Investing.com published the headline that read, Provident Financial Services CEO buys shares worth over $13,000 by Investing.com. What was end-of-day price and volume for PFS? On Wednesday, May 29, 2024, PFS had an end-of-day price of $14.28 and volume of about $0.9 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price dropped 1.99%, losing 29 cents, while volume dropped 28.89%, decreasing about 0.3 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $1.09, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively 16.18 and 14.28. Volume saw a range of 11.7 million, from a day low of 442,000 to a day high of 12.2 million. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did May 29, 2024 rank for PFS? By 650 calendar day look back to August 19, 2022, across 446 trading days, of which May 29, 2024 price ranked 428 while its volume ranked 56. Each of the 446 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end-of-day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 446 being the lowest ranked day. The price's day-over-day -day percentage changed, dropping minus 1.99% on May 29, 2024, had a day rank of 384 while its dollar difference of minus 29 cents had a rank of 367 when compared day over day across 445 trading days. Volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 379 and 423. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did May 29, 2024 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 446 trading days, the maximum end-of-day price for PFS was $24.47 while the minimum was $13.49. Within that price range, May 29, 2024 price, of $14.28, landed within the first quartile, meaning it was within the bottom 25% of all sampled end-of-day prices. The day's volume landed within the fourth quartile, 
marking it within the top 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 12.2 million and a minimum of 112.4 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, PFS has a median price of $17.49. Therefore, May 29, 2024 price was lower from that middle marker by 18.35%. The day's volume of 0.9 million was more than the median by 85.52%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for PFS? Across 446 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended down while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $24.01 for 08, 2022 while the minimum was $14.47 for 04, 2024. Looking at volume, 04, 2024 and 08, 2022 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 908.7 thousand and 236.8 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for PFS? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative, then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 08, 2022 to 04, 2024, out of 21 month ends, 14 had a negative percentage change in average price. Meaning 64% of month ends saw a negative percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 19 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 86% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end-of-month max of 0.88% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.86%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 47.47% and minus 2.16%. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, Remember to like and subscribe to TickerDD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the TickerDD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has PFS price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short term versus a long term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short term moving average crosses above its long term average. Vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short term crosses below its long term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA, and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50 day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black. If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50-day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 30 to 50. We found death cross signal for the 5 to 10. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 10 to 20, the 50 to 200. Thank you for your interactions, keep going.
Let us know in the comments what you think about this ticker. What is your target price for this ticker? Here are some comments that we have enjoyed reading. Comments include, best DD video I have seen, definitely enjoy these videos, different but straight to the point, very nice video. I must say it is well explained. Glorious entertainment I say, thank you again for your feedback, please keep them coming. Hello, let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the Legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15th and April 15th, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy, whose friends called him, Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime. As is data that are publicly available. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for, Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the, due diligence, part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are, because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the TickerDD army by going to TickerDD.com and contributing but you can do so in other ways. For example, like and subscribe. Also, put this video on Reddit or Stockquits along with your own DD. Important Disclaimer This commentary video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Herein, you, and, your, are defined collectively as you, the viewers, the sharers, the referrers, or otherwise, the users who respectively views, shares, references, or otherwise uses, collectively. Access of this video as well as those who may be your legal proxy, representative, or executor. You acknowledge and agree. Your access of this video constitute your perpetual acknowledgement and agreement to this important disclaimer in its entirety. This video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not be influenced, you will not take actions, you will not make decisions, and you will not make stock market transactions, because of this video, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access of this video, against Ticker DD and its parents and its affiliates. This important disclaimer is valid in its entirety.
regardless of the laws and jurisdictions of your current residency, permanent residency, and or citizenship. In the event where specific sentences in this important disclaimer may be invalidated, as argued, judged, and presented as verdict in a lawful court, whose location, country, and jurisdiction ticker DD will solely select for such trial, you agree to honor and enforce the remainder of this important disclaimer. You acknowledge and agree that any resulting court judgment against ticker DD, and its parents or its affiliates, regardless of what the trial or its verdict may be, the resulting damage paid by ticker DD to you is only in monetary value, which will be a one-time and inclusive and complete amount, of your direct payment to ticker DD, as verified by receipt, for your access to this video, which after 90 days from the payment date is mutually agreed by you and ticker DD to be $0. This video is an opinionated and dated commentary. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial data, information, content, advice, research, product, service, statement, or otherwise, body of work, are presented, marketed, sold, consulted, or offered in this video. No warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertion are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to, directly or indirectly, influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified, accredited, and licensed professional for your investment and financial needs. Do so away from this video, ticker DD, and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotics stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trials and errors. This group of novices is not qualified, accredited, or licensed financial or investment professionals. This video is strictly only material for entertainment purposes. This auto-generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by Ticker DD, is only for this group of novices private trials and errors and as is usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trials and errors, of technologies, data, and approaches that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning, which is central to an in-progress documentary being planned, produced or edited, all of which may or may not be released. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Robotic process automations, data models, technologies, know-hows, and methods, whether proprietary or industry standard, as well as public and licensed aggregated data, information, and content, and their abstractions, as used by Ticker DD in the dated generation of this video, may include, amongst other things defects and errors, as well as hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, along with unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, as stated on the first slide at the beginning of this video, as well as by this video's aggregated and abstracted third-party data sources, public or licensed, which may or may not be disclosed, or offered as is, without verifications, warranties, or guarantees. Third-party data sources may update, correct, or nullify data, information, and content after and away from the generation of this video after Ticker DD have aggregated, abstracted, and used them in this very video. The people and entities, affiliated to the Ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.